Welcome to the Phoenix Empath Intuitive. We sometimes give our light and energy to people who will never see our worth. And sometimes we have to take our power back by using affirmations, visual inspirations, and meditations. I am here to give you motivation on how the past is always our teacher. Please do me a favor and like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you work it on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me and got my six, mean and have my back, because I have yours. Thank you, and I love you guys. Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We are going to pull from the love situation to see what your love situation is. We're going to pull from the Ask Yourself deck. We're going to pull from this deck, which I can't remember the name, but it's about basically a tarot with your emotions. And then we're going to clarify um, at the end of the read, we're going to pull from the Four Agreements and the Crystal deck, learning the chakras. And at the end of the reading, the chakras energy will be at the end. Okay, so what's going to happen is that, like I said, we're going to pull and I put it up here like this. My nephew was in the back crying, so. I paused it. Um, this is a feeling. This is an emotion. This is a situation in love. This is a question. This is emotions and also tarot. Um, we may clarify with another tarot deck, but this is the four agreements and the crystal deck. And then at the end of the read, what's going to happen is that we're going to um, have the uh, affirmation to release the negative energy of this reading and of in in general then it'll be the chakras and the four agreements and then that'll be the end of the uh, video so let me pull a feeling when it comes to this is the living by the moon deck these are healing ma mantras uh inspired by the magic of the moon is what it's called and um if you want to find those i don't know where to get them from i got mine from home goods but that's the actual deck in between my two cups so yeah good luck on that one so let's see what energy comes out and then we're going to pull from again the love situation to see if this is in regards to love or what situation you're in in regards to love um if that makes sense these cards are hard to pull they're paper actually i am grateful for all the things that unfold in my life and all that is to come so that is, and I am protected. So you are protected. So don't ever think that is the point that you're not protected. You are protected and you have to be grateful for the experiences. Remember, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, situation is, has been here to teach you a lesson. What did you learn out of it? So when it comes to your love situations, let's go ahead and see what energy comes out. Um, you guys do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I thought I was time stamping by me editing the video. Unsure energy about the runner. You're not sure if this person is still being the runner, avoiding the connection and uh, running from themselves. So that was a situation that you were dealing with. They need to come clean in regards to their emotions. Uh, that's also coming out. It says cleaning up their life making healthy choices cutting out the negativity so unsure about if they're coming clean or if they're still running um or um, whether they're ignoring the situation this is about home life location change change in the home feeling uh of home so they they feel comfortable with you however there is a new beginning pregnancy is here not necessarily pregnant um, um being pregnant it says getting pregnant pregnant build on a family giving birth to something and so when it comes to home and you also being able to have your cake and eat it too mutual feelings you guys want the same thing however this is the heavy energy on them uh when it comes to where they are in this situation so uh i'm also going to pull from this deck i actually screenshotted this deck to tell you the name of it yeah this is stress stressful energy when it comes to this situation um this is more so when it comes to how someone feels so if you're stressed out you know and if you don't know what's happening or there's some type of um, insecurity when it comes to dealing with a person place thing or a situation then you know what happens is that you start to feel some type of way and you start to feel like it's some type of tricky energy or betrayal and so therefore you have to understand that you know uh, again when it comes to this situation 
this is kind of like the seven of swords energy you have to be able to have the courage and desire to go after the things that you want hold on one second hello so yeah you have to have the courage to do something this is recognizing your strengths this is um reminds me of the flower growing in the concrete tupac had a other uh, rose that grew from the concrete you know um you can grow you know pressure bus pipes and creates diamonds as well but when it comes to you having the courage to realize what's stressing you out um it's this energy you know uh, you have to be grateful for the energy because it's keeping you in a situation to where you're moving forward uh from um this certain energy and so therefore you're worried about your foundation and also if you're opening up a new can of worms when it comes to building this family but there is some type of breakthrough that is happening whether this be with you or with the person that you've been dealing with and most of the time it is with you but you're still witty you're still playful you're still happy in regards to the situation this is the harry potter deck uh i bought this the other day as well um, this deck uh, gives the spells and also um, gives meanings of the spells. So I think that's really cool because, you know, what happened in Harry Potter, they were trying to have the courage to face their fears, laziness. Yeah, this is the energy that you've been dealing with. So you've been playful. This person has been rich and lazy. Um, this is somebody that has their rewards and have everything, but yet and still they don't do the work. They are having everybody else work for them. And this is why they're you know, it's time for them to clean up their mess and it's stressing you out. Uh, beyond illusion comes when you have to understand that this is judgment, a realization that somebody had to have when it comes to having success or being successful with an outcome. Because remember, your feelings are mutual, but you are protected and this person has to realize that energy, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hold on. I'm going to clarify. I'm going to use the empathy. Um, um, with this I can't think of the name of it it's the empathy deck I'm going to use this but again I'll clarify the stress what stresses have you been going through when it comes to this situation which is this uh, seven of swords type energy two of wands in the reverse holding back and a uh, loving complete so this person has been holding back and it's causing you stress but um, when it comes to the ten of cups happy life happy wife this is why you know you want it to build and to be able to have something with this person, but they've been holding back in this situation. And so you had to have the breakthrough and move forward. Courage is recognizing your strengths uh, when it comes to this situation. And that comes with Ace of Cups, emotional readiness. You're ready to challenge, to go through any type of breakthrough that it needs to happen. But again, the energy here is you understanding that the breakthrough only comes when you are ready to deal with your emotions and that is the world energy so again the breakthrough comes with the world being here a completion this is um with the ten of cups energy loving completes this is triumphant completion so the breakthrough comes when there is a kind of completion and maybe you guys see eye to eye this is two people here or maybe not maybe it's just what you need when it comes to the support you don't need this you need that and you're still going to be witty. So maybe you can meet someone when it comes to somebody that's not lazy. Um, again, somebody who's not yeah, in the point of hidden deceit. And also um, that will be grateful together, which is basically what the complete energy is. So grateful togetherness and hidden deceit um, comes with the laziness and recognizing when it comes to judgment energy beyond illusion. Let's clarify the judgment. Um, but yeah, you just have to get to a point to where you're just like, you know what? This is the awakening that you had to have. And um, that's the six of coins. Generous giving and lucky twist of fate. So like I said, there is opening a door for someone new. Triumphant completion is here. And also grateful togetherness. Four of Wands energy. You know, the Four of Wands energy also is letting you know that you know, when it comes to celebrating and excitement homes and things like that, you, you know, nine of, co nine of coins uh, back to this energy um, here. But it's not laziness. It's a prosper prosperous victory when it comes to the nine of pentacles. Nine years it took for you to see and to have this completion. And that is where you are from. So let me go ahead and pull from the Intuit Oracle deck to see what comes out um when it comes to this energy because again you know you have to embrace you know the element of air and being open to all the wisdom and knowledge but you also have to know 
when to release stagnant energies and to be able to escape without, you know, and that that's the thing you want to escape without harm. But again, what's going to do, what's going to happen is that you're going to have to be able to move forward without um, caring or holding back your feelings or your emotions. And that's why the two of wands comes in the reverse. Yeah. Uh, so we have the lion. Yeah. Your strength and the house again, the house comes out. And the lion, the, the strength comes out twice. And then we have the moose, imposing, powerful, independent. Yeah. And alone. And the clouds, thoughts, problems, doubts, hesitations. This is why you can't move forward because you're hesitating and you're doubting. But you're powerful. You're able to move forward. You want a foundation. And the Mars, the ruler of destruction, survival instincts, instincts, sorry. Upheaval, raw energy, sudden change action self-assertion chaos ag uh, aggression desire impulse anger and it's the tower energy so again back to ending the things that no longer serve you and that's what you had to do for a prosperous vic prosperous victory and also for success so that is what you have to do the mars energy also is um being tough you know you have to be tough in this situation and sometimes it's hard when it comes to the foundation that you want but you have to be able to create and know the things that you really want and why it's keeping you stagnant. Let's pull from the four agreements and then we'll go ahead and let this energy go. There it goes. Um, yeah, what you really want, the ring shows its face, right? Um, always do your best. Honor yourself. And that is the biggest message. Honor the woman or man, the man or woman that you are. Take the risk to express your dreams. Taking risks is about living fully and expressing what you are. So you have to honor yourself. And express who you are and you know say what you want and this is for your prosperous prosperous victory and that's mutual feelings that you have to have with another person and you'll you'll eventually which it looks like soon have a lucky twist of fate and find someone the shadow kite is the throat heart and third eye chakra communication understanding and amplification and it says, I trust my intuition to bring me clear and conscious information. It's all about trusting yourself and trusting in your feelings and the what you want. Say what you want, mean what you say. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and let this go. Uh, stay tuned for the affirmation. Also, the um, chakras and the four agreements. I love you guys. Now, let's say an affirmation. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate. Negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. And remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Have a nice day. Hey guys, let's talk about the chakras. We start off with the crown chakra. That is your belief system, unlearning to relearn. What you need to do is understand that that's your spirituality, selflessness, and wisdom. The third eye chakra is your intuition, perception, and understanding. The saying, what's understood doesn't have to be explained. Well, once your intuition, perception, and understanding kicks in, you won't explain yourself a third or fourth or uh, maybe a second time. The throat chakra is your communication, expression, and trust. Say what you want, mean what you say, trust in what you say. Then we have the heart chakra, love, harmonious, and forgiveness. The ability to send strength and healing, period. That's it. Send strength and healing to a person, place, thing, or a situation because no man is your enemy, no man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. Then we have the solar plex chakra, your optimistic energy, your clarity, and your personal power. You're taking your personal power back by knowing what it is and being optimistic in regards to the future. The sacral chakra, your emotions, your intimacy, and your confidence. Be confident in the way that you want to be loved, how you want to be loved, and the way you expect to be loved. Lastly, we have the root chakra, your survival, stability, and grounding yourself. Just know that when all your chakras are blocked, everything will feel like depression, sadness, and unsure energy, and it will keep you stagnant. So make sure you understand your chakras and you keep them in check. All right, you guys, I love you. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the four agreements. Well, now it's the fifth agreement. We're learning to be impeccable with our word. 
Impeccability of the word is saying what you want, meaning what you say, and not speaking ill in regards to the things that you want or need. So learning to be impeccable with your words is speaking with integrity, saying only what you mean, not speaking ill, not having harsh conversations, um, or speaking against yourself or gossiping. So say what you want, mean what you say, use the words that you want, if that makes sense. And so this means no gossiping about the past lover, the past relationship, the past person. What you need to do is to understand that no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. And yes, I'm mixing up the four agreements also with the game of life and how to play it. If we learn those, then we'll understand why the impeccability of your word is worth it. And the second agreement is don't take anything personally. You know, the thing is, is that when we take things personally, it's like eating poison uh, that somebody gives us. Nine times out of ten, hurt people hurt people, and you don't want to be a part of those. So don't take anything personally from what a person did. And again, go back to what I say, hurt people hurt people. You have to learn to go ahead and say, nothing that anyone does moves you, and that's a part of the game of life and how to play it. Also, what others say to you is a projection of their own reality. Like Drika says, Kevin Gates' wife, they're not hurting me. They're hurting themselves. And that is when it comes to anything that may cons be considered bitter or may be poisonous to you or sent towards you. So you don't have to worry about how karma works. All you need to do is not to take it personally when a person wrongs you. The third agreement is don't make assumptions. Don't assume that someone knows how you feel. Say what you want, mean what you say. That is practicing your throat chakra. And yes, you're not going to assume you're not going to see potential in someone and you're not going to get to a point to where you think that somebody knows exactly how you feel. You're going to speak as clearly as you need to. You're going to question. You're going to ask questions and you're going to basically express yourself and communicate with others as clearly as possible. This is so that we won't learn to take things personally when we are disappointed by somebody assuming or us seeing the potential in a person. We're going to say exactly what it is that we want out of every situation. Next, we're at the fourth agreement. Always do your best. When they say always do your best, that is the way that we live. We try to heal people and make sure that they heal from their childhood traumas, past relationships, the hurt that we see, the energy that they portray, and just to let them know that we, they can trust us. And so what happens when we always do our best, sometimes that comes with us starting to take things personal because we saw potential in a person who was too hurt to fix. We have to realize that we can't fix everyone. And if we've done our best, the only thing that we can do is either walk away and send strength and healing to this person, place, thing, or situation. But that comes with us not being impeccable with our words. I always say that nine times out of ten, if I cut you off, you handed me the scissors. So we know that time and time again, we try everything to help. And we just have to realize that we've done our best in this situation. And at some point, there's nothing else that we can do. And now we have a new agreement. It's the fifth agreement. Now, the fifth agreement is be skeptical, but learn to listen. Now, this is when you start to feel anxious and you start to have anxiety because now you are questioning everything that you learned from agreement one, being impeccable with your word, agreement two, not to take anything personal, agreement three, not to make assumptions, and agreement four, always do your best. Now, when you start to question yourself, this is when you're starting to understand the true meaning of your emotions in understanding that you have the ability to make a decision actually saying no. And these happen because you know that somebody is trying to take you back into your past emotions or make you look into the future, which you know will be okay. And in this present moment, it makes you feel some type of way. 
So that's where you have to be skeptical about who this person is or what this situation is that is making you question what you've learned in the past or from the past. And so when this happens, you have to look at it in a way of, well, was I very clear with this person? Well, um, did I make assumptions that this person had the potential to take me to this new le level or what the universe is trying to teach me or what should I be learning from this situation? And then that's when you have to use the power of your word to say exactly how you feel at this present moment and also to not take it personally that this person is trying to make you revisit the past. So you're going to use your words at that present moment to say, sorry, I'm not going to be able to subscribe to this. And this is how I feel and move forward. So this is where you learn to be skeptical, but you're going to learn, but you're not going to take it personally by spewing poison or even trying to get even with the person. And this is how you know that you have conquered when it comes to the five agreements. So what this looks like is, hmm, why do I feel like this? Why do I feel anxious? Or why do I feel like the need to say no? Was I, or was I impeccable with my word? Hmm. Did I make the assumption that someone had the potential to be better than what I thought? Hmm. I know at the end of the day, I've done my best. So am I starting to take this personal when it comes to how this person, place, thing, or situation is treating me? And you have to understand what the fifth agreement is trying to teach you. It's learning to look at doubt in a different way. To look at the doubt and to question your answers or question your feelings or your emotions. This is a way of mastering your emotions, mastering the way that you feel from your emotions and also mastering to set boundaries. Boundaries are a big part of understanding why the five agreements were created. We don't learn boundaries. As a child, we learn to listen to our parents. We learned how to make our parents happy or the people around us, but we never really learn or master the way that we really feel, the things that we really want to say. And so this is where we have to learn to set the boundaries, to be impeccable with our words, not to take anything personal, but also not to make assumptions, but know that at the end of the day that we've done our best, but being skeptical, learning to listen to our emotions and why we feel the way we do is a huge part of growing up. And if we were to learn this as a child, then maybe we wouldn't let people walk over us as an adult. And this is when we learn how to control our emotions and not to feel bad when we have to say no or even walk away from the things that no longer serve us. So you're going to use your words at that present moment to say, sorry, I'm not going to be able to subscribe to this. And this is how I feel and move forward. So this is where you learn to be skeptical, but you're going to learn, but you're not going to take it personally by spewing poison or even trying to get even with the person. And this is how you know that you have conquered when it comes to the five agreements.